1912, on instructions from Lenin and at Stalin's initiative, the Bolshevik workers' newspaper Pravda, which means truth, began to be published in St. Petersburg on a mass scale. The paper was guided by Stalin and Molotov. Pravda's appearance came at a time of a fresh revolutionary upsurge in the country. The Lena shooting was the cause of the revolutionary mood of the masses turning into a revolutionary upsurge of the masses, Lenin said at the time. Lenin wrote for the Pravda almost every day. Because of the persecution by the Tsarist government, the Pravda had to change its name frequently. But to the workers, it always remained Pravda, the truth. After the Prague Conference of the party, Lenin settled in Krakow in order to be closer to Russia. In February 1917, Lenin's brilliant prophecy came true. The front of imperialism was first broken through in Russia. The empire of the Romanovs tottered and crashed. All of Russia was in a turmoil. Everywhere life was uprooted. It churned and seethed as though in some giant boiler. A human sea, joyous and wrathful, overflowed onto the city streets in mighty demonstrations. The revolutionary fire of the masses was finally unleashed. But Lenin warned that this was not yet the complete victory of the revolution. Stalin left to meet Lenin. Their first talk took place in a railway coach. Straight from the train, Lenin went out to the people massed on the square. He mounted an armored car and addressed the people with words that opened a new era in the history of mankind. Revolution. From this building, Lenin and Stalin led the uprising. Lenin was born for revolutions, wrote Stalin. In the days of revolutionary changes, he blossomed out, as it were. The first steps of the Red Army were extremely hard. There was a shortage of everything, arms, equipment, and commanders. And so commanders were advanced from the ranks of the people. This was truly a... Those first modest holidays to which Lenin was a witness are unforgettable.